Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at Productronica 2017 and I'm on the Scoop Studio with Matthias from Emtech. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank Good to much. see you. Everywhere we look at the moment, we're seeing robotics, mm -hmm. some behind glass panels, but others in an environment that we can be in. And I think that's the most important thing. The idea of this cobot or our ability to coexist with robots is really significant. What are you seeing in terms of development in that area? particularly for the SMT environment? No, I see an enormous revolution happening now. We see an uh, um, implementation of several use cases where the collaborative robots, we're focusing on the ABB Yumi, uh, takes an enormous market share, uh, entering uh, as a, as enormous interest from the different players, uh, contract manufacturers. And I think this, is, well, this will be the future. We're going to see robots collaborating with people. Uh, we're going to be less dependent of, of people in the manufacturing line. At the same time, we can offer the younger generation an, an opportunity to work within the industry for with a cool job, yeah. uh, virtual reality, and everyone loves robots. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, everybody does love robots. That's absolutely true. What we're, what, what I think has interested me over the last couple of years, and trade shows like this, but also Hanover Fair, Apex in the U.S., even CES, where you see uh, robots used. There are a whole bunch of robotics companies, and then there are a whole bunch of companies that are very well known and very focused in our industry, and they're, they're kind of learning to collaborate, but they're not quite there yet. How do you see that working for the ABBs, for the KUKAs of this world, and the partners they're choosing in this market? Yeah. Now, I think uh, what we see from an uh, ABB perspective, uh, the robots that we've chosen to work with, is that in order to be truly collaborative, you have to make sure that the, the safety is first, first and second. So, of course, there are solutions out there that be, uh, they are collaborative, but on the other hand, they are also a little bit too fast, so they can actually cause injury to, to, to humans. Um, I see that coming, coming into now with, with the systems that are developed, ABB with their background within robotics has a tremendous experience, of course, KUKA and, and the other competition as well. But I see that they are now changing from being a process expert or process focused, like painting robots or welding robots, bringing in collaborative robots will actually will force them to be, become more method experts yeah. than process experts. So you're going to see also a higher level of collaboration between the robots manufacturers and the actual users. So. Yeah. yeah, that's really interesting. And uh, when you look at those robotic experiences that, that ABB and others have, those come from other industries like the automotive industry, but in the automotive industry it tends to be cage robots. What industries do you think we can look at for their for the way they've ap applied robotics um, as, as a good role model? I think, once again, coming into, we should look in our own industry, because we have the mythology, we do have the skill set, and now with the, uh, with the dual arm robots, uh, my view upon this is that all the designers, most of them, hope, has uh, two arms. So they, they design for two arm ma manufacturing. So that's why I really appreciate the Yumi solution, because it's inherently looks like a, like a human, and it works like a human. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's interesting and again that collaboration goes through to how can the human teach the robot, how can the robot support the human in terms of doing work that's maybe too heavy or monotonous. It's a, it's a really interesting collaboration that we're going to see so much more of I guess. Yeah, yeah. And also uh, what we're looking into is uh, the uh, ability to add exact traceability, not just batch level or component level but exact traceability which we are actually bringing in the man-machine interface yeah. of the traceability. Who was actually present at the workstation? What was the result? How was the, the process arrhythmia yeah. uh, at that time? How, yeah. Did it go well? Why didn't it go well? So, yeah. And then you get learning experience because you can feed back in, you know, insertion pressures, torques, all those kind of things and improve processes. Lots of exciting stuff ahead in the robotics world. Matthias, thanks for joining me. Thank, Thank you for you your time. Very much. Thank you.